hi there welcome to this java tutorial <coughs> where we talk about an important concept called cohesion first let's discuss about uh, uh, what is cohesion and then look at an example of cohesion uh, basically cohesion is an indicator is a measure of uh, how related uh, whatever the functionality or the whatever the responsibilities that a particular class has so if let's say a class has a number of responsibilities uh, there's a responsible let's call them responsibility one responsibility two and responsibility three so cohesion indicates how related these responsibilities are how res related responsibility one two and three are for example let's take a look at the class which I am having here so it's actually uh, what the class is uh, let's say the functionality which it's implementing is like downloading something from internet it's like let's say it needs to hit a website get something and then download it and then try and parse the data which is present in there so it probably is looking for some information from uh, th that particular thing which it downloaded from internet and then it passes it and then finally it ends up storing it into the database if you look at this particular class let's say the download and store class is actually uh, having these methods download from internet I'm not really implemented this method but let's just assume that the method does download from the internet so it downloads from internet it parses the data and then it stores it into the database so to download from internet probably this has to do something with a HTTP protocol to download something from the internet to parse the data it probably uses some regular expression or probably some utility like JSOOP or something of that kind and to store it into the database probably let's say it uses either JDBC or probably it uses Hibernate it, it uses one of these frameworks uh, to uh, do this stuff so if you look at this particular implementation of this cohesion example the problem you see is that this single class is having varied range of responsibilities it's having a responsibility to talk to a website using HTTP it's having a responsibility of parsing it using a JSOOP or a regular expression and probably it also stores it into the database using a JDBC or something of that kind so this is like a varied range of responsibilities which are not really related how related is actually storing something into a database and downloading something from the internet and parsing it these are really really different different functionalities so this particular class is not cohesive at all because it has a lot of functionality that is being done in and all the responsibilities all the functionalities which are present in here are not really related like they are completely distinct functionalities which actually is better to implement in a different class as such so probably a better way of implementing this particular thing is uh, for the sake of comfort and for the sake of explanation what I would do is put all the classes in here in the same Java file but ideally when you are implementing it uh, these classes go into public classes of their own so here I, like in this example I would show only uh, in this same class so that it's easily uh, watchable and easily understandable but when you uh, like really implement them this would actually go into different public classes on their own so uh, this functionality might be something of this kind so uh, like the download and store might be implemented in a separate class of its own so there might be a class for downloading so class internet downloader or whatever so a class internet downloader which takes care of the downloading stuff and probably then there would be a class for parsing so class uh, some parser just call it a parser so this parser class responsibility is just to uh, do the uh, parsing and then you might have some kind of a DAO object so class dummy DAO 
this class is responsible for storing the information in storing it and then finally probably this thing would actually create an instance of all the classes and consolidate and call that particular thing so if needed probably it would create the instance of this class so I would create an instance of the class and call it and similarly all the other instances and calling it so if you look at it now there are four different classes and there is a specific responsibility for each one of them so the internet downloader is just responsible for downloading something from the internet this parsing class is responsible for just parsing and this dummy DAO is just de responsible for interaction with the database storing something into it and the download and store is actually responsible for integrating everything it does not implement the actual uh, the functionality of uh, downloading from the internet or parsing data or storing it into the database but it just like it's like the uh, wrapper class it's like the wrapper thing which uh, combines the functionality from all the above methods if you look at these classes now these are all really cohesive tomorrow there's a new thing that needs to be downloaded probably I can put it in here and if there is new thing to be parsed then I can probably put it in here and to store something new into the database I can add it in here so if you look at this these are really cohesive classes so that's all there is about cohesion cohesion is all about uh, how varied uh, and how distinct the responsibilities of a class are you would ideally want the responsibilities of the class to be really related so if I'm having something related to a client and storing it into the database then probably I'll have only methods which are really related to that in a probably a class called client DAO client DAO okay there you go that's cohesion for you if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye